what's up dudes welcome back to another YouTube video and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up emulation station I know in my last video I told you that I was going to be playing Subnautica but I'm going to my friend's house this weekend and I don't have enough time to record it Friday or tomorrow so I'm recording it Thursday and I'm going to upload it Friday morning so yeah so the first thing you want to do is download these three files from the link in the description and a some uh, emulator games just to get it uh, nice and working. I do give credit to a YouTuber called ETA Prime which I originally got the idea for this video from and I'll give you a link to his channel and the video down in the description below. Now the first thing you want to do is um, this, the link for the RetroArch will be just sending you to the website and you can get the platform you have. And uh, the first thing you need to do is extract the portable game station which was made by another YouTuber, I can't really remember who it was. Uh, it was by Herb Fargus. Which his channel will also be down in the description below. Alright, now that that's done extracting, the next thing you want to do is extract RetroArch and emulation station which we're going to be replacing the things inside of the portable game station so we can get it updated and I'm just going to pull these files over here to get it nice and uh, nice and looking good you know Okay, now that you have all of the files extracted, you want to go into the portable game station folders, then go here, and open up the emulation station folder, take all the files from inside this one, then move it over inside of here then wait for it to go. Then you put re uh, click replace the files in the description and then you go into dot emulation station and you want to open the retroarch folder go into systems go into retroarch and replace those files as well Okay, you want to move to RetroArch. Then it should start uh, moving and replacing the files. Okay, now what you want to do is click the replace the files in the destination button right here. Okay, now that all of the files were correctly Changed, you should have a file here named cores which will be all the, the cores for games which will be like the correct cores and stuff and the next thing you want to do is go into uh, by the way all of these are the different 
the different system emulators it supports other than just RetroArch. RetroArch covers most of them. Now to do your ROMs, you go into the ROMs folder, then you find your game. In my instance, mine is a uh, DS game, so we're going to go in NDS. Then we are going to put this one in here. And on the readme file, it says place your Nintendo DS ROMs here. The emulator will be DSUM Liber, Liber, Libretro. Then the ROM extensions it accepts is .NDS. Now what you want to do is go back to Portable Game Station, then go to Launch Portable Windowed or Full Screen. Either one is fine. But I'm going to be doing Portable for the sake of this video, and I got me a little Xbox controller set up here. You can also put this file on your like a thumb drive or something and put it and use it as a portable gaming station but it has to be in this folder like you can't rename it or anything or it won't work for some reason. Now what you want to do is click uh, windowed or full screen then it will open up emulation station and you can uh, show that one of your controllers are set up then you just want to set up your controller so d-pad up, d-pad down, left, right start, select, a, b, x, y left left shoulder right shoulder, left trigger, right trigger left thumb I'm guessing that's down down left up down left right right up down left right then hotkey I'm going to put a start and you just want to click A now I only have one game on here which is NDS and you can click it and play it but before I do that I'm going to show you some of the settings you have here you can change the volume then you can go into one of these and you can change the uh, theme set which you can change it to which this comes with some because I don't think you can download um, uh, what was it you can't download themes on the PC so this comes with a couple of themes that works like this one there we go and you can change it to a couple of other ones but in my opinion I like the uh, carbon better and you can change the style basic is automatic it, I'm not entirely sure what it does basic it just has your game list detailed it'll give you a description of the game some ratings and some other stuff like that and video you'll have it'll display video and stuff like that but you have to run it through the scraper first which I still haven't figured out how to do yeah but I'm sure there's some other videos on the internet for that and so I'll show you that this works as a nice little uh, emulation station thing where you can play it. You can also download a program called um, LaunchBox, and you can run your run it through with uh, RetroArch, and you can play your games like that. That might be in a different tutorial or that. I'll make a different tutorial on that on a later day and stuff like that because that's pretty cool too but this episode is just emulation station for Windows so this is proving that you can play retro games then it'll launch up RetroArch and file toggle then you want to go to 
Let's see. Video. I like going in here. What I do? Oh, yes. You want to put a uh, start full screen. Start on full screen mode on. And there's another one that I wanted to click, which is an input. Then the uh, menu toggle gamepad combo. I like putting on a uh, hold start for two seconds, and that should be good. Now you can go to quick menu, then click resume, and you can play your game. I'm sorry that I couldn't upload Subnautica this today, but on my next upload I will definitely try to. Again, I was uh, I'm going to my friend's house this weekend, so I don't have enough time to record Subnautica. That's why I recorded this uh, tutorial. And it, so if you liked it, make sure you hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.